Good morning, guys. It is currently 12.44. We are getting out. It is February 18th, 2024. Guys, a little warmer today. It's like 50 degrees out right now. All right, guys, we got a one mile, 1.6 mile order at Little Caesars. All right, guys, that wasn't too bad. They had the order ready when I got in there. Let's get this zipped up. It's 12.57 now. As soon as we dropped that off across the street, we got a McDonald's order. Didn't have a chance to do anything else. Oh, Coppa has got someone pulled over right there. Why not just pull into the parking lot at that point? I don't get it. <laughs> All right, well, we ended up waiting inside McDonald's for a couple minutes, but that's okay. It's 116. This time was so profitable, we're gonna go for a round two. Man, what an exciting 15 minute wait. How can so much action be packed in such a small 15 minute window? First, another dasher came in after I was there for 10 minutes. Of course, they got their order first. <laughs> but then the store manager who bagged their order looked up the screen she thought she put the wrong drinks in it went chasing after her she was already past the bridge but uh she ran over the bridge tracked her down checked the drinks came back inside and then told me oh yeah i did it right those were those were the right drinks <laughs> just went back to work <laughs> it's like why'd you even doubt yourself you know but then while i'm waiting in line uh, these people came inside and this guy walked up to me. He walks right up in my ear, like, close, <laughs> you know, too close. And he goes, hey brother, do you think I could, uh, you think you could buy me a McDouble? You, you think you, you could do that for me, brother? <laughs> I look at him like, oh, dude, I'm, I'm sorry I'm actually out working right now, so I just fill her up and then I, I leave my uh, my stuff at home because, you know, I don't want to be tempted in spending money while I'm out trying to earn money. I was like, yeah, I won't, until I'm done working, I won't have any money. <laughs> I just, I said it like that, just like repeating the, wor the words working over and over. <laughs> he goes, oh, I understand. And then he just continues to walk up to every single person that walked up to the front counter to order food and started asking them for money and then i watched one lady say no and she was so uncomfortable she told him she was just getting a water cup and then she walked off and came back and ordered once he walked off it's just like oh my god dude like you can't just stand at the freaking counter asking people for uh... he told the one lady that's okay ma'am maybe they'll give me some ketchup packets thinks anyway then he starts laughing once she walks off walks up to me and goes dude did you hear what i just told her i told her maybe they'll give me some ketchup packets <laughs> uh, i'm gonna see if they'll give me a burger <laughs> and then he just proceeds to stand right at the like intersection between the register and the counter blocking traffic where the worker can get out and goes can i get some food <laughs> it's like you got to get him out of here, dude. Oh. Hold the drinks for me. It's 207. For a short wait, we ended up getting a Burger King order. And then 
as we were pulling up to Burger King, we got an add-on for Subway, so the batch. Let's pick them up. All right, got our drink, got our little bag of food. Man, we were in there for like seven minutes. I don't understand. Whatever. All right, it's 2.18. Alright, well, I'm sure Subway is done by now. All right, it was ready. Is it gonna make me take a picture? I knew it would. Them, them bastards, they can't trick me this time. It's 2.32. My first delivery has brought me to uh, the Marion High School. The customer says bring to the door of the HEC building. I don't know what that is, so I, I, I asked them in my text, and then they text me back, good, could you bring it to the door of the HEC building? I, I literally just text you saying, I, I, I don't know what building that is. <laughs> could, could you elaborate, please? Right, five minutes later, they have finally texted me back to let me know it is the building with the long sidewalk going to it. I think that's this one over here. Well, it was all the way down the sidewalk, almost to the other side of the building, but we found it. Uh, health education center <laughs> heck center it was the uh, gymnasium they had like a basketball game going she was taking the uh, money when people were walking around so you know, I don't know if they were it was a concession or if they were paying for tickets from her or what but that's why it was taking her so long to message me that's understandable well 243 well it's no fault of mine I have not melt the clock at all just just took long, man. I didn't know where to take it. It's unfortunate. It is 2.56. My five-year-old just called me on his cell phone. That's right. My five-year-old has a cell phone. Little man called me on his cell phone and uh, said, My red barn's in the car. I want my Goodwill barn. <laughs> my wife picked it up at Goodwill. She saw it on the shelf. and was like, Damn, that's a good price. I'm, those things can be expensive, those barns. And it's working like it's brand new. And I'm like, Yeah, all right, <laughs> little guy. I'll, I'll bring it by. So I drove by the house for a quick minute and uh, dropped that off with him. I told her, she uh, opened the door. I was like, are you bringing it in? I was like, no, tell him to come get it. He came running out the door, opened the car door and grabbed it and ran, said, I love you, daddy. <laughs> ran off to the door, turned around and said, thank you. And then went back inside. So that's awesome, man. That's what life's about. Anyway, we got an order, guys. Papa John's, $10, 12 miles. All right, it was ready. Get it zipped up. Oh, it's 3.02. We are here. Or 3.20, I mean. Can't they tape these things shut, dude? All right, come on. Three fifty-two. Just pulled up at Buffalo Wild Wings and we're getting an order here. Twelve miles, going all the way to here. Pick it up. All right, our order was ready and waiting when we got in there. Went ahead and took a picture of my receipt before I forgot. Let's get this zipped up. All right, it's four twelve. It's 4.34 now. We ended up waiting in here for like five minutes, but we didn't get anything, guys. But then as we're heading back into Marion, we got an order at Freddy's. But unfortunately, it's going 10 miles right back in here. And... Hmm. Oh, well. Let's head inside. All right, guys. Well, Freddy's ended up keeping me waiting for almost 10 minutes, but that's okay. 
here to take my photo of the stupid receipt before I freaking forgot. At least they were nice enough to offer me a free pink lemonade while I was waiting. Well, I could have got anything, but I chose pink lemonade. I always like it when the stores offer you something for free while you're waiting. Well, let's get going. Alright, we're here. It's 5.02. We ended up getting an order at Taco Bell, just going a couple miles south. But as we just pulled up, guys, we ended up getting an add-on at Arby's. I know I pressed this button, but I had my keys in the door. So they were outside the car and it didn't shut off. <laughs> anyway, guys, the add-on is at Arby's, which is right there. So, both restaurants are touching. Should be pretty good orders. Alright, my order for Eric. Oh my god. My order was ready. Let's head over to Arby's. Alright, it's 510. I'm sure our Arby's is ready. Alright, got the food, got the drink. Only took a couple minutes, guys. Only took a couple minutes. Ah, silly me, I forgot to take the picture of my Arby's. Is this legal? I mean, it's all tied down, but... Uh, what? Dude, that looks like it's gonna fall out, bro. Staying in there. Ah, no, dude. <laughs> Alright, Taco Bell, you first. Alright, we're at the last drop off. It's 5.47. We ended up getting a Grubhub finally for El Rentino. Unfortunately, we got it while we were in like Carterville or whatever. And it is taking us to Carterville from Marion's El Rentino. So we just had to drive all the way back to Marion. And then now we're going pretty much right back to where we just dropped off the other order. But, you know what? We got an order. All right, guys, well, they had it ready on the table right when I walked in, so let's get it zipped up, get going. The delivery instructions are talking about a drink. They didn't have a drink. All right, well, when we were a block away, we ended up getting an order for Yamato Steakhouse in Carbondale. So we're going to drive that direction now, guys. Follow the journey. All right, we're here. All right, guys. Yamato's had it ready. Keep going. Left the keys in my pocket. But I was so fast, I was able to open the door and put them back in before the car opened. Well, we ended up getting an order for Mod Pizza as we were pulling up. And that has us uh, going all the way back to Marion. <laughs> well, we're here. You know, I really was not expecting an order taking me all the way back to Mary. I appreciate it. Alright guys, Mom Pizza have it ready. Get this zipped up, get going. 
All right, we are here. Now, on my way here, I just got a order added on to or queued up for the next for a chop kitchen 20 miles. Alright, 726. Here we are, Chop Kitchen. Well, guys, my order is for only rolls. Every time I have orders for rolls here, I am kept waiting for like 20 minutes. But I said that last time and it was actually ready, so who knows? What I do know is this is going from Marion all the way to Ziggler. <laughs> Alright, well, not bad, guys. It was about a five minute wait. It was the one employee that talks to me. <laughs> so I had a good conversation and, you know, it wasn't a very long wait. There we go. He was saying he was reading the delivery instructions. And he said he was worried that I was going to be kidnapped because the delivery instructions read, we will meet under driveway. Under? <laughs> like as in, you're going to kidnap me and bury me under the driveway? <laughs> It's 8 o'clock, guys. We just dropped that off. She she has, like, one of those overhang driveways. That's why she said meet under driveway. Well, there we go, guys. There we go. The bags are empty, guys, and we need to refill them. We need to go to where there's an order. There's not an order here in Ziegler. Well, it's 8.25 now, guys. We ended up getting an order at Popeye's while we were still in Heron. Gotta love that chicken, man. And it wanted us to drive from Heron all the way to Popeye's and Marion, and then drive all the way back to West Frankfurt. It's a darn shame I didn't get this order back with that other one. Now, how are they gonna hand it to me with all that beard wetter on the top? Come on. Anyway, guys, get this in the car real quick. Oh, okay, get this in the car real quick. Ta da! Alright, so let's go over the totals for the day. On DoorDash, we ended up making $81.34. On Grubhub, we ended up making $87.52. Add both of those together, and we made a total of $168.90. Divide by the hours worked, and that's a total of $19.87 an hour, or 8.5 hours. Driving a total of 168.9 miles. But that leaves only one question left, guys. How much did we spend on the gas? Well, there you have it, guys. $17.17 .17 in gas. I hope you enjoyed the video today. And I hope to see you again next time on Eric DoorDash. Thanks again. Bye.